Okay, so again, I just want you to focus. I want to make this so incredibly simple, it's frightening. So the first set of rules we put here was to basically specify the header, nav, section, article, and the side tag. We basically created a rule structure. So these are block level elements. So they span the entire width of the parent tag, which in this particular case is the wrapper tag. In addition to that, we set that to 100% wide, floating to the left, clearing to the left. Okay, so we're gonna do some really cool stuff here. Now let's finish building the rest of our rules for our tags. So I double click this word. Right now, I just want to share with you, this is just a word, it's not even a paragraph, it's nothing. If you go to code right now, it just exists. It just exists in there as a piece of text. It hasn't been tagged with anything. Header has been tagged. This has not been tagged yet. Therefore, I can't create a rule for it because it's not necessary. a tag. So I double click, copy, command T, and paste. Return key once, twice. Now this next one is slightly more difficult. I want to include the article tag inside of the section tag. The article tag is for news articles. Stories. I can have a story about cats and a story about coats. Goats and a story about cats as delicatessen in New York City. That would be in separate articles. I want the articles to be inside the section tag. So how do I do that? Well, I double click section, copy that command C. Then I physically select both of these pieces of text. Then I hit Command T and paste. Now both of those pieces of text are inside of the section tag. How do I know that? Because it says so right here. Now in addition to that, I want to make the article tag all by itself. So I copy article tag, Command T, Quick Tag Editor, Command T, Macintosh, Control T, Windows, and paste. Boom. Okay. Then. I do the same thing for the side tag. Double click, copy, Command T, Control T, Windows, and paste. Footer tag, copy, and paste. Now, important to understand, right now I have tags, but I have very few rules. Do not confuse the rules with the tags. These are the tags. Footer tag. A side tag. This is my tag selector inside the wrapper, but they have no rules. Okay, now this next step is for search engine purposes. Okay, the first type of text that should be inside of whether it's a div tag or an HTML5 container tag, these are all HTML5 container tags. So for search engine purposes, the first piece of text that comes up should be a header tag more specifically header one. So we're gonna make each one of these tags header tags with the exception of the nav tag and the footer tag. So we're gonna simply come here and I can either do that right here, header one, or I can hit command one, Macintosh, control one, Windows, where you do the simple thing. Now important step here, I didn't have to do this. I just have to put my cursor there. So I put my cursor there and hit command one. I put my cursor there and command one. I put my cursor here in command one. Now this piece of text here, we're gonna make a paragraph by simply putting the cursor there and selecting paragraph. Right now, nav is nothing. We're gonna turn nav into a paragraph as well. Okay, so I just wanna share that simple concept. I'm tagging the content, so understand something. Without the content, what kind of content can I have? I can have text content graphic content, contacts, content, uh, QuickTime movie content, Swift flash content. The content needs to be tagged so the browser knows what you're talking about. It's really that simple. Now, for my header, we're gonna change that to mysite.com. I'm at the return key. And uh, again, we do wholesale coffee, so let's do whole sale coffee and free shipping. Okay, now this is a header one tag. We're gonna make this a header two tag, command two, header two, header one, header two. These are one's paragraphs, now they're header tags. 
Now, what I want to share with you is by default, I don't want my type smashing up against the container tags. So right now, this is smashing up against there. So I'm going to create a rule for P for paragraph and multiple tags. So we're going to do multiple tag rules in our next video.